welcome back to another episode of Chaos Theory with Thrak and Nemson. Hey, hey. How you doing? Uh, we're back at the base number one. And we've still got a zombie horde outside, but we're about to brave the great outdoors uh, to do some stuff. We're going to get some uh, kind of quarrying going on because we lost all of our valuables recently. And this local area, the, the dungeon close by and the mine shaft, uh, we've already fairly picked it clean without doing too much more digging around. Uh, we are clear of resources. So we're going to get a quarry on the go. But in 1.8, we don't have any particular kind of quarry that we can call upon in the technical sense. So we're going to give the Atomic Strikers Minions mod a go to uh, kill some land by having minions doing all of our dirty work. Uh, the downside is that these zombies are going to not let us anywhere near anything at all. Come here, come here. Where? All the way over there. Yeah, and jump on this one. Should be safe enough. Hey, we're up. Okay. So, what we got? Um, there is a key in the key configs for the minions mod, which is a um, muh. The darkness listens. Commit to evil. I'm going to commit an evil act. I will either manipulate a baseball league, um, baby seal clubbing, or desecrate a grave. I think I'm in the mood for some baby seal clubbing. Oh. Oh. The gods are pleased with your sacrifice. Well, that's very nice of you. The gods are pleased with my sacrifice, Thrak. I actually heard the gods are pleased with your sacrifice. You hear it on your end as well, okay. Yeah. Uh, we've got disturb a burial ceremony or play someone off as my... <laughs> the gods are pleased with your sacrifice. <laughs> they are pleased with my sacrifice. Uh, you've got to do this a few times. Uh, let's see. An unspeakable act of lust. <laughs> the gods are pleased with your sacrifice. Oh, I think I just did it with a cow, Thrak. I think I just did it with a cow. Okay, I think I only need to do one. I think I go down two levels of experience every time I do this. Uh, let's uh, hold a dark mess. The gods have rewarded your offering. Was that it? Okay. Oh, and I've got a master staff given to me. The gods have indeed rewarded my sacrifice. So now I right-click it, <laughs> and I get a little minions. <laughs> and then when I press the config key M, I can uh, unsummon minions or dig a mine shaft or strip mine. So they're basically diggy diggies, aren't they? Uh, dig a mine shaft. Oh, what was this? Let's uh, let's start here, shall we? Let's uh, go there. <laughs> Shift right click. There we do. Just there. Do it just there. Do you it should. Uh, it should have like a pattern on the ground. Yes, it does. And then what? I don't know, right click it. I'm just making the minions. Oh now, once I'd got all four minions out, then it would do it for me. I see. You want to be careful where you're standing there, Thwack. So these should now dig a nice little quarry hole right down here where we've got this little prepped out outcropping. They will not only dig for us, but they will build us a little staircase down as well. And once they get down certain ways, they keep everything in their backpack and you can uh, click on them with the master staff and get it all back. Get all the stuff they've dug. So you get all the resources. It's pretty awesome. If I remember correctly, you could set them on a chest can tell them to do a chest thing. Oh, well, let's go and chop down a tree. Um, get some wood. Because our wood supplies are running low at the minute as well. Uh, those zombies are tracking you. That's nice enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and get some... Ow. Okay, that wasn't a zombie. That was a cactus. Ah, ha, ha. I'm getting achievement gets as well. Play adapt files. Kill the zombies. This zombie horde, man. 
Uh, we have got another uh, array of mods thought about for the next week. And uh, people have already been voting in the straw poll. And it seems that they're going to be nice to us this time around, Thrak. Seems like I refuse to believe that, but sure, why not? No, 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 no. They've, they've chosen the nasty options every week so far. And this week, they have chosen to go for the nice option on the straw poll. So these uh, crazed zombie apocalypse uh, will be coming to an end. The gods are pleased with your sacrifice. Oh, the gods are pleased with your sacrifice too. <laughs> uh... Do I just uh, right click on that chest? Oh, <laughs> I can now hear your The sacrifice. gods are pleased with your sacrifice. <laughs> it's really loud when you're up close to the other player, isn't it? Mm hmm. Like you're doing it yourself. The gods are pleased with your sacrifice. Now, who did you just wedgie? Nelson. <laughs> you just Nelson somebody. Oh, co corrupt, pure nun thoughts. <laughs> you can actually rewrite these as well. I did it for the Age of Adventure, rewriting the uh, config file to change what the actions are. And it still calls upon the same cool sound files. It's a pretty awesome way of doing it. These have gone right down really fast, haven't they? Mm -hmm. They've just zoomed in. Man. Do I just right click on them to uh, get stuff out of the backpack? Uh, oh, the left click. Can't remember. Let's have a look, see what they do. Uh, left click just hits them and tells them to hurry up. Right click. Right click. Ah, uh, yeah. For your master. For your. For your. For your. Oh, thank you very much. They just gave me a load of awesome stuff. Not in that bag, in that bag. Loads of cobblestone, a bit of iron, and all that. They haven't got very far, but they've been digging quite nicely, which is good. And now they've uh, got to carry on. They've stopped. Hmm. There you go. I, I put mine to to cut down the forest. Ah, cool. Is that like just a dig command? No, uh, you right click on um, a tree. Yeah. You just do dig and right click on a tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, Let's see, we're digging this mine shaft a bit further, shall we? Little minions, you have not done enough work yet. Digging me a shaft will start digging your graves. <laughs> Did you hear that? Dig me a shaft or start digging your graves. And now they're kind of glitched slightly. I think the server broke. <laughs> Do you think the server just broke? Yeah. Are your minions not doing anything either? Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> back in a bow. Okay, so we are back after a little server crash. Nothing to worry about too much, but with a little server crash. Um, something to do with minions chopping trees or something, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Atomic Striker mods. Yay. <laughs> you love them. Uh, so, we've... We've got the minions, we can use the minions um, carefully to do jobs for us, to ease some automation, to dig some quarries and stuff. Uh, but I don't really want a quarry just over there. We're going to need to go and find somewhere a little further afield to sort out um, the mining side of things. And... We've got some new cool stuff from Progressive Automation also to mess around with, but probably not this episode. There is... Uh, you leave the gate open? Go on. Yeah. We're going to have a, a run through with this zombie horde to try and find some new land. Because if we're going to be using the uh, um, pets next week that you've in, had put on to the Chaos Theory for us, voting so nice, we're going to need to find somewhere that's got wolves. And somewhere that's got wolves, to me, is normally one of the colder biomes. I always tend to find wolves in the colder biomes, don't you? Mmm, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, our continuation of heading north may be something we need to do to find a, a colder biome. Somewhere with a lot of snow and a lot of trees. 
However, we kind of run out of land when we get over here, don't we? Mm -hmm. Um, but if we jump in boats and just sail north, we may find another whole new biome type to go and mess around in. Have a zombie. <laughs> just battered a zombie straight towards you. So, we're going to have a quick wander this direction and see where it brings us out. I can already see that there's a savannah over here. And that's it. Have you got a boat? Uh, I need to right click on something. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. Had one in my bag. You got one, okay. Good, good. So we got spares. So we're going to head this way a little bit more and we'll be back in just a mo. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck. Hmm. Where are you? Did you just stop at that land back there? To your right, I think. To my right? Uh... Kind of. You stopped somewhere. I found this uh, boat sunken into the water. Looks like it's from the shipwrecks mod rather than the ruins mod. There's lots of wool on the sails. Which means that we can uh, replenish our parachute supply <laughs> with, a, with a bit of wool from one of these things. I'm going to rip a few bits down and tr try and mount the boat and maybe go and have a look to see what's down below. So I don't know if there's spawners or anything in this place. Uh, I think I... Oh, now I see they were. Oh, there's a big, big boat underneath us. And it could be full of cool loot. I'm just going to grab some of the sails first, eh? Because we need this wool. For stuff. Things. Yeah, did I get it? Uh, yeah, I got six wool. That's good enough for me. Alright, so... Uh, we've kind, kind of got somewhere down there, no doubt, that we can get to. I'm going to use the torch trick to uh, keep, give myself some breathing while I'm down there and have a little pop down here and see what's about. Alrighty, we have made a brief pit stop at a roguelike dungeon that we found on the way from the spawn and base. Uh, as you can see I've marked my waypoints on the map spawn and B for base. So directly north we continue our journey and it looks like we're meeting savannas and hot climbs still. We haven't found anywhere that's likely to spawn wolves uh, so, in order to get past these zombie hordes, because it's also got night time, uh, we popped into this place, raided the chest to get all sorts of cool loot and stuff like you find in the roguelikes, like we found in the earlier episodes. Uh, but basically, it was there to get some string, because we just got some wool off that boat. Now we get some string. So I'm making this uh, hop and pop parachute to give us a little bit of an advantage here, where we can uh, glide our way on further try and get somewhere. Uh, I've also got markers on here for where the other bases that we found it through the portal in the nether the other day. So I know in relation to where we are, where those bases are as well. So we can link things up in the future and figure out areas to go. Uh, Mr. Thrak, are you... Uh, yes, I see you winding your way up towards me. Very good, sir. Very good. You'll need to uh, jump stack up onto the roof, I think, because these hop and pops are going to need uh, a little jump start before we fly off. Uh, there you, go. You, you have blocks, presume? Uh, you presume wrongly, my good sir. Oh, well, I can throw you some, but they'll bounce back to me. No worries, no worries. I'll, I'll find a way. Find a way to the top. Because uh, if jumping off a great height is how we need to use these parachutes. Here he goes. He's, he's coming up. Almost, almost. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. You're here. Right. And uh, do we have a chest between us? Uh, I'm sure I picked up some from the... Uh, I from have there. four. Right. I'm going to put your hop and pop into there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to throw the rest of this stuff away. Right, so this hop and pop thing. Uh, it's like a parachute, but you've got to hold right click when you're falling in order to uh, make it produce itself. Hop and pop. So we're just going to hop off this here thing and hope that we release that parachute before landing in the water. <laughs> 
and uh, continue our journey in that direction and hopefully find something before we uh, get to should, record the next should episode. Should we sleep? You, you would, uh, let's, we, let, let's, uh, I don't know. We don't need to, we're okay. We'll, okay. we'll just fly over their heads. Sod these zombies, they have, their time is limited. We're going to go to some new area where they're no longer around. That didn't work. You've got to be falling. Right, ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, there you go. There you go. And if you press space, you rise slightly. That's it. Oh, well, very, very slightly. <laughs> okay, do it. Boink. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, Thrak. We're going, we're going north. On the wind. Oh, my. Why, why am I ascending? No. I'm not pressing space. <laughs> it sometimes catches you by wind currents, I think. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, wind yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nothing yeah. to do with uh, having any sort of bugs in the mod. It's it's cool. Yeah. Uh, it is very cheaty though. Look at this. Basically, out of a few bits of wool and a bit of string, you can uh, well glide around quite nicely. And if you press space, you raise up again. I can understand the gliding bit, but I can't understand the uh, raising and basically flying. Uh, yeah. But it's cool enough for us to get around quickly. Um, we can abuse it for a little while. Uh, and then uh, see what else comes out in 1.8 in the future. To uh, give us a different kind of flight or a different kind of mobility. Um, we're going to have fun with it as much as possible. Uh, while, we're, while we're heading this direction into a desert biome that's probably not got any wolves either. Uh, where, where are you going? Ah, I'm going up. I'm going too uh, high I don't, up. I don't know what's happening. I, I'm... I'm, my altitude is gaining too much. I was going to say, while we're floating, um, let's talk Minecon. Because uh, earlier, well, yesterday, I got Minecon tickets for the 2015 mm. Minecon at London. Hate you. Well, it's virtually like three hours away, three or four hours away for me. So this year... Unlike every other year when it's either in America or France or wherever else it's going to be in the future, I figured this was like my once-in-a-lifetime chance to uh, go to Minecon and actually go and experience Minecon for the first time and potentially the last time because it might be too far away and too expensive to travel in the future. Still hate you. <laughs> Maybe the next one is in Europe somewhere and it's easier for you to get to. Maybe. The England is still Europe, so... Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I will be taking uh, my little boy, my Sam, uh, or Electon B, as some may remember him from the Nemson Is My Dad series we recorded together. Um, and I'm taking him down there with me, and we're having a, a boys weekend at Minecon. Should be rather fun. So if anyone's going to Minecon that uh, watches these videos, uh, don't forget to keep an eye out for us and to come and say hi when you figure out it's me. <laughs> <laughs> if you can figure out it's me. I might end up just being sort of like a, a, a fan in the background, just wandering around trying to catch people that I know and watch videos for. Uh, I think we're meeting up with Van Hal and Lord Raccoon while we're over there. A couple of uh, Utopians have managed to go to Minecon. So that'll be fun to go and see those guys. Uh, meet up and have a little wander around with those. Uh, and see who, if anyone, knows us when we get there. Uh, I doubt people will know us, to be honest. I think I know of one subscriber that's already going. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it's like, are people going to notice me? Or is it just going to be me being a fan of other people noticing them? I don't know. We'll find out. I'll, I don't even know how much like video footage or anything I will get from Minecon. And whether or not I'll get any and be able to put it up on the channel. Uh, we'll see that as well. There's a lot of planning still to be done. Just basically got over the stage of buying the tickets. And now we've got the tickets. And uh, yeah, go into Minecon. Could be awesome. Should be awesome. Uh, but I'm not... I'm not seeing anything in here, so it looks like we're going to have to do a lot more exploring to find something decent in order to find our wolves for next week's um, doggy talents. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing zombies, like <laughs> hordes of zombies, like appearing out of nowhere zombies. God 
it's all spawning to get zombies, there. Zombies, yeah. I'm just creating new chunks by the looks of it. Things are loading up around me as I'm going, generating new areas. And I'm finding more savannas than anything else. I think I need to do lots of exploring. And uh, come back next episode where it'll be on uh, Thrax channel on Monday. Where hopefully we'll have found some wolves and be able to do some taming of wolves and training of wolves. And uh, yeah, have some fun with trainable pets get our own little pets thank you very much for being so nice uh in the straw poll this week we should have a lot of fun with our pets next week uh thrak would you do your thing please uh, well, uh if you have enjoyed the episode the like would be very much appreciated and until next time <laughs> there was a little guy <laughs> stay safe oh 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 uh, did I see the like part? I, I can't remember. <laughs> Stay safe, everybody. Bye -bye. See you next episode. Bye.